Before you build a website, there are quite a few settings you gotta make sure you've ticked off or set correctly. Otherwise, it could affect productivity or how your website functions or looks. Let's go over them. We're gonna be working in the WordPress dashboard, go down to settings, and here's where the settings are that we'll be touching. Now, depending on how your server's been set, Hopefully you've got an SSL certificate and your website is secure. Nobody wants the not secure bit showing in their browser URL, right? It doesn't look really good. So what you wanna make sure that if you have set this up and you have got an SSL, make sure in your WordPress admin and your site address, you have got S after HTTP. If not, and you start adding in media, you could get a bit of an issue later on with um, compatibility with the images and the website. You don't want that. It's also not a bad idea to set your language, your time zone as well, and how you want the date and time format to be shown. The reading setting is where you can assign what the landing page is in effect when someone comes to your website. This is at the moment set to be Bertha's page, but as we work and create more pages, I'm gonna change this to be a different one later on. Have a think about if you're gonna let people comment on your website if you've got blog posts or things like that. Remember though, you may have to moderate this and if you're quite active in doing this, this is good for you. Or maybe you wanna just lock this off so people can't comment because it might be a particular post which is saying evergreen post and it might be you don't really want comments, you're just kind of sharing out some information. But have a think about your settings for that. Now the media setting, this is one that gets overlooked by a lot of people. When you first go into it, you will have values like 150 pixels for the width and height for the thumbnail and for the medium and the large. I set these to zero and I also ensure that these boxes here are unchecked. Why do I do that? Well, every time you add an image into your media library, in the back end, and you can't really see it, WordPress is creating copies of that in your file database because it's trying to predict or accommodate different sizes. I like to be in control of what sizes I add. And rather than having an image duplicated, I mean, we're not just talking duplicated here. There might be four or five versions of one image. You can only see one, in the back end there's five. And depending on the storage space or the number of inodes that you have in your server, this can be quite resource intensive or heavy. So I say just zero, zero everything out. And this is my favorite setting because a lot of people skip this and get this wrong. Permalinks are how your pages and your posts and other items on your website are gonna look in the URL. So if you've created a post called Tuesday, maybe you want that Tuesday to be present in the URL for SEO purposes and people finding your website, especially when you're sharing links, it's a lot more easier to read. But I have seen websites where they've gone and picked the day and name or the month of name or even plain. These numbers mean nothing, right? However, if you do the post name, it now means the title of your post will be the end of your URL. Believe me, that makes a big, big difference as to how things look. Make sure you've picked that. Pretty simple, right? But make sure you do those before you do anything else on your website to make sure everything after that is a lot more smoother. <laughs>